uh, Thanksgiving food hot takes? Um, my favorite is definitely pumpkin pie. Um, I'm a big turkey fan. I really I, I like all the food. Um, my my mom Kathy was does a good job of cooking a little bit of everything. So um, my parents are actually coming up here on Thursday, um, along with Denzel's uh, mom. We're having Thanksgiving at our house on Thursday, so it'll it'll be nice to kind of stay in town here and you know, relax a little bit and get some time with my family. So I'm excited for that. How important is it to, um, to take the seniors out right to win this weekend? Yeah, well, that that's always been really important um, to me. Um, you know, ever since I got here, you know, I, I know, you know, how much, uh, you know, a day like this Saturday means to them, especially this group of seniors that, you know, I feel like we have um, more than, than normal that, that are in this class. Um, and, th and we have a lot of guys that have played a lot here at K-State and, um, you know, have done some great things here. So it's just going to be really important for us to send them out the right way and, you know, just play hard for those guys. You know, that that's what it comes down to. And, you know, it's it's this their last game here in in Bill Snyder Family Stadium, and you know it's it's going to be you know uh, an emotional day for a lot of guys. But um, you know, I'm really excited to go out there and and do my very best for them, um, and do my do my part and and everything I can to get us a W. This summer, you said this isn't a rebuild. We expect to win now, mm -hmm. and now you guys are almost close to eight eight wins. Tell, tell me about just the satisfaction in the season and being able to make this climb to this point. Yeah, well, it, it's been a journey. Um, it's been a journey, and we've we faced some, you know, you know, some some ups and and downs in this season, and done some great things. And um, you know, I knew there was going to be a time where there was going to be a little bump in the road with with everything being new and having a new system. And you know, I knew I, I knew it wasn't going to be you know, all, uh, you know, sunshine and rainbows the whole time. So, um, you know, but but that, that's what makes the journey, you know, so special and, and fun um, in, in the midst of all of that. So, um, you know, that th that was our mindset coming into the season. We knew we had a, a, a special team that could win some football games. And, um, you know, we've, we've just stuck to the process and, and trusted our coaches and have played for one another. And that's, that's really paid off for us. And, you know, we still have a lot of a lot of things we have have left to uh, to achieve and, and goals we want to accomplish. And you know, we just got to focus on you know approaching it you know day by day like we have been, and and then stick to the to the system and and trust our coaches. And you know, everything else will take care of itself. What part of Rock Purdy's game do you admire the most when you when you see him play? Um, I just think he's really good at extending plays. Um, he can make any throw. You know, he's really accurate and really mobile to extend plays. Um, you know, I think he's he's a good football player, you know, from watching film on other defenses all all season uh, leading up to this game. I've, I've seen a lot of film on him, you know, and watching their offense going against, you know, who we're playing. So, um, you know, I've been really impressed with him. I think he's, he's a really good player and, um, you know, and does a lot of good things uh, for, for their football team. And they have some really good players around him too um, with some, their tight ends are really good. and. Receivers make plays. Um, you know they're they're a really good offense and they're good on defense as well. And I think they're one of the best in our in our conference. Um, you know statistically, so it's going to be a good challenge for us across the board. And you know we we, we just got to focus on us. Like like we've we've been you know saying all year. It, it's it's more more about you know you know us and executing our game plan and, and and focusing on what we need to do to win rather than than the opponent and what they're doing. How much does that game last year still stick with you heading into this one? Yeah, I mean, I really haven't, uh, you know, put a lot of thought into it. Um, that was that was a tough game just because I felt like we played played so well, had a really good game plan, and uh, it was one of my better games that I played last year, and um, we still lost. But you know, I know everything happens for a reason, and um, you know that was a that was a really good you know learning experience for me that whole time period and, and whatnot and you know I, I just I knew that there were, there was good things um, to come out of it I just didn't know how that would would look or or um, how it would shake out um, to be honest but um, you know I know this game I, you know I was fortunate to, to play in the past two and uh, you know my first first year playing in it um, through that game winner versus um, you know them and with with Zub and 
you know, that was a really, really special game too. So, you know, I know it's going to be a dog fight. I know this, you know, they're, they're a really good football team, like I said, and we always seem to play, you know, down into the last series of the game. So we got to be prepared, be prepared for that. Um, and just be ready to, to face some adversity and be able to get through that and attack that to the best of, uh, of our ability. And, you know, just big emphasis for us is just scoring touchdowns when we get in the red zone. You know, I think that's something we've been really good at, but we struggled with last week and something we got to get back to going into Saturday. With it being Thanksgiving, you know, when you look back onto <clears throat> this season, what kind of things are you thankful for? Um, you know, I'm, I'm just thankful for this this coaching staff that we have in in coach Kleiman um and, and my teammates I think that's you know above the wins and, wins and losses uh that that's what I'm the most thankful for uh you know coach Kleiman has has really you know um you know embraced uh in me and has put his full you know belief and trust in in, in me and coach Messingham coach Klein all those guys and you know it just it means the world to to me um, and, you know, got me back to just loving the game um, again and having fun, you know, doing it and alongside having great teammates around me, um, great friends and and whatnot that have that have helped, you know, make this season really special, you know, and, you know, that, that that's at the end of the day, that's that's what, you know, this game is all about. And, you know, the family, you know, we, we say that all the time, but it truly is a family here at K-State. And we all love each other as, as brothers and, and and play hard for one another and whatnot. And that, that I don't think it's like that at every every university. Um, and, uh, you know, I think that that's what separates, you know, this football program from a lot of other ones. And, uh, you know, I'm just thankful, thankful to be a part of it. I'm thankful to be a, a Kansas State Wildcat. You know, I've always said it, it means a lot to me. Um, and this university does as well. And as long, along with the, the fan base and and just everything, you know, it, it's a it's a special place, and um, I'm just I'm thankful to to be here and be a part of it. You've seen you've seen how electric young blood has been on kickoff returns. How what's his potential at wide receiver for years to come? Yeah, I mean, you, we've got a taste of his uh, athletic ability and playmaking ability. I mean, he he can really get out and run and open up, and I think that that you know gives us a really good asset to our offense. Um, but in saying that, you know, he's he's a freshman and he can be, you know, as good as he as good as he wants to be, you know, and I'm gonna do my best to push him um every single day. Um and, you know, and, you know, just encourage him not to, to get satisfied and always be hungry for more, which I know I know he will with with Josh being the type of kid he is. He's a he's a, a great teammate and a great person with a, a great head on his shoulders that he really understands, you know, what, what where he wants to, where he ultimately wants to get to, and what it's going to take to get there. Um, but you know, it's just for him to come in here as a freshman. You know, I don't think people understand how difficult it is to come in and, and play at this level as a freshman um, and do the things that he's been doing. So uh, he, he's really special, and you know, this this offseason is going to be huge for him. You know, just to understand the playbook even more understand the little details and, um, you know, the ins and outs of, you know, how to, you know, run a certain route, you know, rather than just, you know, running straight and, you know, running a post, you know, like there's there's other things that um, you can add to your game always to, to make you even better. And I'm going to do my best to help him out with that. Uh, and then just getting bigger and, and, and stronger, you know, I think um, that's something that will really help him out in the future. But he's definitely a, a really good player. And, like I said, uh, he's a great teammate, and that, that's what uh, makes him, you know, really special. Kind of in this Thanksgiving theme, off the top of your head, can you recall one play where maybe you made a bad throw or a mistake that worked out really well for you guys and that you were thankful for? Just any play that maybe, for lack of a better term, you guys got lucky on this year? Um, hmm. mm, that's tough. I know it's right off the top of the head. Yeah. Really one, but I know with um, such a game, you know, both ways, it's fun to think about making yeah. mistakes that went, you know, your way, too. Yeah, um, you know, I would, uh, hmm, man, you, you stumped me, you stumped, <laughs> you, you stumped me, you, st you, st you stumped me there. In your career, it's the time you thought, man, that ball was in a bad spot, but this guy saved me for it or any, anything um, like that. Yeah, well, um, 
you know, I think, uh, you know, last year I threw a, a touchdown to Malik versus Texas Tech um, where I was kind of falling down and honestly was going to throw the ball away. And he happened to be right there. And so you didn't see him? No. <laughs> um, but nobody has to know that. Uh, but it was more of a where I was falling down, just trying to throw it, you know, pass the line of scrimmage. And he happened to be right there. And he caught it for a touchdown. Um, I would, definitely wasn't wasn't mad about it. Um, I'd say that, and um, you know, there's a you know there's there's been a couple you know fade balls to Dalton Schoen uh, versus TCU where you know it was a 50-50 ball um, and kind of under throw it through it, and he you know went up and attacked and got a got a catch. That that, that always makes me really really happy because it's not the best throwing ball, but um, he makes me look good. Um, but that's that's kind of the story of the day for being a quarterback is, you know, it's not going to – sometimes you just got to let those guys go make a play, and hopefully they do. But sometimes, you know, it's – it's it can go either way because, like I said, it's a 50-50 ball. Um, but, but no, I'm – I'm I would definitely say the Malik. That was, that's the first one that comes comes to my head. But I don't really recall anything um, exactly from, from this year um, exactly. But we have – we've had some – some things go our way. I would say the, the onside kick versus OU is a pretty lucky, you know, thing that the game events is getting getting touched that decided the game for us. Uh, that's uh, I'm definitely thankful for that too. So, yeah. yeah.